Today we're making homemade whole wheat bread. It's going to be low in fat and vegan also, and it's still going to taste good. Now the first thing we need to do is get our mixing bowl and get it warm. You're going to want to like run under water, get in the microwave, something where this bowl is warm. Now the step, next step is very important. We're going to need to get one and a quarter cups of water, and we're going to need to temp it and get it where it's about 110 degrees, like so. Take that, put it in the bowl, then we're going to put a tablespoon of regular white sugar in there. Use that to mix it up a little bit. Then we're going to take and get active dry yeast, not the quick kind, not the bread kind, just the regular active dry yeast, and put a half a tablespoon in there. Then we're going to let this sit for about five minutes. Okay, now that we've got it all foamy, we're going to take about 410 grams of whole wheat flour, or three and a half cups, and we're going to put most of it in there. Then we're going to put half a teaspoon of salt, and this is one of the secret ingredients. This is what uh, uh, bakeries use. It's vital wheat gluten. We're going to use one tablespoon of that. That's going to make it fluffy and rise up real good. And then the other secret ingredient is instead of oil, this is going to use applesauce. It's going to be about two and a half tablespoons of apple, just regular unsweetened applesauce. start mixing this. Once it starts going, then we can take the rest of the whole wheat flour and put it in there. Now we're going to get this all worked in together. Sometimes you'll have to take a rubber spatula and uh, push down the sides to make sure it gets incorporated. Now this is where it trips up a lot of people. You want the, fl uh, the flour and the liquids to come together and but not be too soggy and sometimes you'll have to add a little bit more flour sometimes you have to add a little bit more water in this case it came together too easy if it had crumbles in the bottom after working it for a couple minutes still and it did seem like it was coming together then you'd add a little bit more water but this came to together too easy so we're going to add some flour to it This is a lot better. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's um, it's rising up. It's not just laying down almost in a puddle, and it's coming up a little bit. And when it gets to this point, we're going to uh, knead it in this machine for about oh five five to seven minutes. If you're gonna do it by hand, do it by maybe ten to twelve minutes. Okay, it's been going for about five minutes in the mixer. And it should be a little bit sticky, but not too bad. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take this, keep it in this bowl, and you're going to put it in the microwave. You're not going to nuke it or anything, but you're going to put it in the microwave so it's got a, a draft-free draft place to sit. And uh, you're going to let it rest there, uncovered, in the microwave for about 45 minutes. Been resting for about 45 minutes and we're going to punch it down and deflate the air out of it. Really, you just work it in your hands and uh, deflate it. Okay, we got it punched down a little bit here and uh, still a little bit sticky. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a baking stone. You can buy these at most uh, well, just about any department store now. And when you get them, they're going to be all white or brown. And as you use it, it's going to turn black, and that's just seasoning it. That's fine. So what we're going to do next is take some cornmeal and sprinkle it on there. Then we're going to take our bread, or dough, I should say, and kind of shape it into a loaf. doesn't need to be perfect.
once we get it shaped into a loaf, like so, we're going to take a little bit of a cornmeal and sprinkle it over the top. This is going to give it some texture. Give it a dusted appeal. There we go. Uh, then we're going to take this and put it in the oven. Leave the oven off. We're going to put it in there for about 35 minutes. Okay. It's been sitting in the oven for about 35 minutes. What we do now is turn the oven on to 375 and set the timer for another 35 minutes. Okay, we had it cooking for 35 minutes in the oven, and uh, we got it pulled out. That's a close-up of what it looks like now, and I'll show you how to cut it. Now the reason why we cooked it on a baking or baked it on a baking stone instead of in a regular loaf pan is that since there's no oil, this is gonna this would stick and probably ruin your pan and ruin your day from all the time you're taking to make it. Uh, so that's why we use a stone. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it, pick it up. It could still be hot. That's fine. And uh, you can find a bread guide, slicer guide, online or at your local cooking store. And first thing we're going to do is take off the end piece. You see that's still nice and hot. And then we're going to go through each guy. And if you squish the bread a little bit, that's okay. It'll come back. And there you got. Nice, fresh, healthy, homemade bread.